This is Mike Secreta with JobSearchIdeas.com. We're going to take a lighthearted look at the Petraeus affair with him and with Paula Broadwell to look at the five key points that we need to take into account when we're covering a Petraeus type affair during a job interview. Another way to look at this is how do we answer the why were you fired question when it was for an affair or some other embarrassing situation. Now you aren't General Petraeus or Paula Broadwell, thankfully, but you were fired from your previous job because of an office affair or some other embarrassing situation. Now I say that you thankfully aren't these two people because unlike with them, your affair isn't going to be known to everyone. So let's look at five key ideas for people who were fired for an affair or some other embarrassing situation. First, don't make up a false reason for yourself being fired. Even if you have a written agreement from your prior employer saying, yeah, we're not going to talk about that affair, just assume people are going to find out about it. So don't say, Oh, I wanted to spend more time with my family. Yeah, you want to spend more time with them to repair the marriage. Or, I wanted to move closer to my parents. Well, you know, your mother's probably still mad at you for that affair. Or, my job wasn't challenging enough. Sure, when compared to the challenge of trying to hide the affair, nothing else seems that challenging. Number two, you want to check and clean your social media footprint that covers the affair or the embarrassing situation. Social media can be an all-consuming fire that can expose your mistakes and in turn destroy your reputation. Now this is what JobSearchIdeas.com is about, is helping people understand how to use today's technology, today's strategies to present themselves in the best light and to network and get a job. So it's going to be there. It's amazing how many people lay their lives out online. So you need to check all of your online affair-based postings and discussions. You need to look at Facebook. You need to look at tweets. You need to look at LinkedIn and other online postings and other online discussion groups. Ask your spouse or significant other if they're even willing to talk with you still to do the same and clear this up for you and then delete them and hold your breath. 3. Use as broad a classification as possible for the reason you were fired and show that there was some kind of redemption or enlightenment that happened. So let's look at the broadest classifications, the three broad reasons that people are let go for a job besides just financial troubles for the company. So the first is criminal. So this would be an assault. This would be stealing money. Performance. That would be somebody who's not very good at their job or don't even show up for their job. And then, of course, the all-encompassing personal. So that could be, well, you got too friendly with the person who reported to you. Four, we want to write out and practice our answer to the simple question, well, why were you fired? Now this is covered in a lot of ways in different uh, postings, blogs, videos, but oftentimes it's not covering something that's embarrassing like having an affair or, or some other embarrassing situation. So a reply might be, well, after many successes at ABC Company, I was let go because of a personal issue which impacted my work. You want to own up to it. Fortunately, I have resolved these issues and know they won't return. Also, you want to prepare a follow-up to this statement because they're going to ask, well, what, what was that personal situation? So you might say something, well, it was a pretty private matter between me and my wife or between me and my husband and involving another person. And again, this has been fully resolved and won't happen again. And fifth, we need to watch for our nonverbal clues when 
we give these answers during an interview. This is the reason we want to write out and practice how we will address this affair or this embarrassing situation. So this way we can focus on our nonverbal clues. So whether valid or not, people will interpret certain nonverbal clues in a way that hurts our chances at being hired. So if you touch your nose when saying this won't happen again, they may feel that you are lying. Avert your eyes when saying you had a personal problem and they may view that, oh, that means that they're holding back key information. And also you don't want to do any leering like General Petraeus here. This is Mike Secreta with JobSearchIdeas.com. I started this online community to help job seekers find jobs by properly using today's job search based technology and strategies. If you have any questions on this video or like to uh, ask me other questions, please shoot me an email at this address or you can follow me on Twitter at Job Search Ideas numeral one and please go to our website jobsearchideas.com so you can find out more ideas and even look at our training program get a free preview of it to help you use today's technologies and to use today's strategies in order to get a job